Hi everyone, Erin here from Real Wig Fun. Thanks for joining me today. So today I'm really excited to bring you a review of actually three different styles. And today we're gonna take a look at bobs. So what I have on my head today is actually Raquel Welch, Untold Story in Shaded Biscuit. But it isn't gonna be this one that we're looking at today. It's actually these three right here. So stay tuned. So first I'd like to thank Wigs by Patty's Pearls for supplying all these wigs for me to bring a review for you today. And you know what? I thought about why don't we take a look at a few bobs that are very similar in style and in construction and compare them. So I think that this is the perfect time of the year, especially when many of us are outside enjoying the warmer weather often many of us want styles that stay off of our neck so that's why we're going to take a look at three beautiful bobs okay so here is the first one and on my head right now is Belle Tress's Lady Latte in the color Butter Beer Blonde and I love this style I've actually had it in the past so I was really glad to have it again so that I could bring a review for you today so you know what there is lots to love about this style so all three styles that we're going to look at today are all synthetic HD or heat defiant uh, fibers. And so Beltress has the beautiful soft um, heat defiant fibers. This is an average size cap. It has a full monofilament top. It has a temple to temple lace front. So I'll get up close so that you can see that. The lace is coming from about here to here on me and that's where the ear tabs start. Um, it does not have an extended nape, um, but it's an incredibly comfortable cap. So I have a 22 inch circumference head um, and it's fitting me beautifully. What I like about this style is you can part it in any direction. So I have it parted on the left, but you could part it in the center or on the right hand side. So why don't I give you a turn so that you can see Lady Latte from all sides. And you will see it is a bit of an A-line, a slight A-line cut, which I think helps to keep those fibers off your neck and keep you cool. And then the back, my right side, and then back to the front. So I have, the only thing I've done with this style is I have sprayed a tiny bit of dry shampoo. So when I got it out of the box, there was a little bit of shine and I found that that dry shampoo took care of that very well. I'll get up close so that you can see the part. Um, so as I mentioned, you can part it anywhere within this space. The fibers feel fantastic. It's tuckable, so from a density perspective, I would say between the three we're gonna look at today, this is probably the density fits right in between the other two. So you know what, all three styles that we're gonna look at today weigh almost identical. This particular style, Lady Latte, weighs 3.8 ounces. What I will say from the difference between Lady Latte and the other two is that you do have some longer lengths on the side. Um, they are 10 or 10 and a half inches. The back is nine and a half. The nape is three and a half. And as I mentioned, you do have that slight A-line, which I think is really beautiful. All right, so here's the second one. And this is Raquel Welch's Let's Rendezvous. And I have Let's Rendezvous, Let's Rendezvous in Shaded Biscuit, one of my favorite uh, Raquel Welch shades. And the reason why I chose this one next is I think it is the most similar of the three that we're looking at. This is the most similar to that Lady Latte I just showed you. So you've got a beautiful lace front. So one of the differences between this wig and Lady Latte is Lady, or Let's Rendezvous, has an extended lace front that runs all the way into the ear tab. So I can show you that lace front, a really great transition from the lace into the ear tabs. This also has a full monofilament top, just like Lady Latte did. One of the differences in the cap construction is it does have an extended nape, which I really like. So why don't I go ahead and give you a turn so that you can see Let's Rendezvous from all sides. So this is my side. One difference from Lady Latte is this one does not have as much of an A-line as we saw on Lady Latte. And the back, my right side, and then back to the front. So as far as density on all three of these wigs, I would say that Let's Rendezvous has the highest of densities between all three, but I still think it's incredibly uh, comfortable and natural. So for example, I can still tuck 
the hair behind my ears with this density more it's easier on this side than it is on the right hand side but the density is very natural i would just say between these three this one has the higher of the density out of all three but this wig is actually the lightest of the three that we're going to look at coming in today at 3.6 ounces so of the three that we're looking at, I would also say that Let's Rendezvous is the shortest. It certainly has the shortest nape of the three we're looking at today. And the nape on Let's Rendezvous is three inches. The front sections are nine. The crown is nine. The sides are six and a half. And the back is nine and a half. So for me, many of you know that I have an affinity towards Raquel Welch wigs. And this to me is a great example right out of the box. I didn't have to do anything with this style. It just simply laid as beautifully as you are seeing right now. I think the fibers feel incredible. This cap is really incredible. I think between the three styles that we're going to look at today, the cap construction on Let's Rendezvous to me is the best. And what makes it the best is the full monofilament top, the extended lace front, and then that extended nape. All cap features that I really love. Okay, so here is the third and final bob that we're going to look at today. And this is John Renault's Haute in the color Shaded Sun. And you know what? I know we're not talking about color today, but I've never tried this color before and I absolutely love it. So let me get up closer to you to you so that you can see these lighter ends on this Shaded Sun. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so between the three bobs that we've looked at, Haute is the longest in length, but it's also, in my opinion, the lowest in density. It does weigh 3.8 ounces, but as far as the volume of hair, if you're looking for something incredibly realistic from a hair density perspective, um, you would really like this style. So I can very easily tuck Haute behind my ears on both sides. The density is incredibly natural. So from a cap construction perspective, Haute does not have a full monofilament top as the other two did. What it does have is a left-handed monofilament part that goes all the way back to the crown. So you can see that illusion of scalp within that left monofilament part. The lace front is not extended, but I think it is done very well. So it's coming about here to here on me. Um, it does not have an extended nape. It is an incredibly comfortable cap as actually all three of these were. So as a reminder, I have a 22 inch circumference head. All three of these are fitting me beautifully. So as I already mentioned, Haute is the longest of the three that we're looking at today. So as far as the dimensions, the crown is 12 inches. The sides are eight. The back is 11 and a half and the nape is four inches, which is the longest of the three napes or wigs that we've looked at so far. So why don't I go ahead and do a turn so that you can see how from all sides. So clearly this is my front, my left side, the back, my right side, and then back to the front. So I'd love to hear from you about which one you like the most. Is it Belle Tress Lady Latte? Is it Raquel Welch Let's Rendezvous? Or John Renault Haute? I'm having a hard time picking and I think I like all three for different reasons. So for example, on the uh, Raquel Welch Let's Rendezvous, I think in my opinion, this has the best cap, the full monofilament top, the extended lace front and the extended nape. Um, I love that about, about Let's Rendezvous. Um, I find Lady Latte to be very similar. Um, however, I do prefer Let's Rendezvous over Lady Latte, just simply by the way the fibers laid right out of the box. And then finally, this John Renault Haute. I love this one. I love the extra length. And I think perhaps I love it so much because I really like this color but I do like the way the fibers lay. I like the little bit of the extra length and the cap is incredibly comfortable and the density is excellent on this one. So anyways, I hope you've enjoyed taking a quick look at three different bobs from Wigs by Patty's Pearls. Thanks for joining me. Stay well and stay safe. Bye everybody.